Welcome to Get Your Sax Together. I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. On this week's show, I'm going to teach you how to play one of the ultimate pop sax solos, and that is Andy Snitzer's famous tenor solo on Waiting for a Star to Fall by Boy Meets Girl. Honestly, I don't know if anyone's even going to be able to play this solo, so it's probably completely inappropriate for my audience. But I just love it so much, it's a total guilty pleasure for me. It's 80s, it's cheese, it's power sax, it's highly technical, it's fantastic, it's soulful, and I've always loved the song, so I'm going to do it anyway. Just, you know, give me a break, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do this video. What might help you is going down into the description, print off your sheet music free PDF down there with it written out for alto and tenor. It's almost too high for alto as well, actually, but you know. Hey, let's not worry about that. Let's just play some fantastic pop sax together. If you like the channel, please do subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos like this one. Leave me a little comment down there, try and follow my Instagram account and get your PDF. And without further ado, let's learn how to play some ultimate pop 80s sax cheese. Let's do it. Before we start learning this pretty mega solo, a few little notes about this solo. Right, number one, it goes super high. On tenor, the highest note is an octave above palm key D. That's a real screamer in anybody's book. So, the first thing to go and check out is my video on harmonics. That link should be somewhere above my head, carded. That will teach you about how to start building up your altissimo register by mastering the harmonics on your instrument. It's gonna take time and it's not easy. The second thing I'd like to make a note about is the fingerings for the really high notes. It's really individual, there's lots of different fingerings that you can use for this altissimo range. I'm just gonna do the ones that I use that work for me, but you can find them online, you can find them in books. Find a fingering set that works for you. Now, if you want to get good at playing altissimo, you've got to practice up there. So if you go to my video on scales, part two, which should be linked above my head there, what you do is you just practice the scales going right up into the high register of your horn to start getting mastery. And the final resource I'm going to give you before we learn the solo is some of the notes have got a real growly sound. Now, again, final card <laughs> linked up there is about how you growl on sax and get that raspy tone, which is great for playing pop solos. So a few different videos to practice there. I know that this is a really advanced solo. I'm really sorry, probably nobody will be able to play it on this channel. However, just take it down the octave, get the PDF and the bits that are marked octave, take them down the octave. Most of it is in the range of alto, so that's gonna be okay. I have broken up this solo into six phrases. I'm gonna play each one slowly with the fingerings there. Then I'm gonna play it a bit faster with the notes lighting up at the side. Without further ado, let's learn the first phrase, and here it is played nice and slowly for you. Now here's that first phrase played faster. Phrase two, played at a slow tempo. Now phrase two, at a slightly faster tempo. Phrase three, we're still in a doable range of the instrument, nothing super stratospherically high just yet, but it's coming up. But in the meantime, here's phrase three, quite a long phrase this one, played slowly. Now here's that third phrase played faster. Okay, phrase four is when all hell breaks loose. So I'm gonna give you the fingerings I use for these high notes. However, feel free, just take it down the octave. You know, you can still enjoy playing the solo down the octave and it's not too high on alto. 
top A, which is high, of course, but not too high. So here is that super high phrase four played slowly. Now here's phrase four played at a faster speed. Phrase five is still super high. Here it is, played slowly. Now here's phrase five played at full speed. Phrase six is the final phrase. It's all within the range until the last note, which hits that super D on tenor screamer. So here is phrase six played slowly. Now here's that final phrase six played faster. When you string the whole thing together, it should sound, fingers crossed, because this is a bit tricky, it should sound something like this. As always on Get Your Sax Together, I always recommend that you go and check out my transcription series, which is linked on a card above my head. That way you can really transcribe your own solos, find the solos that you love, learn how to play them, and most importantly of all, learn to copy the exact phrasing. You might have noticed on this solo, there's bends here, there, everywhere, there's pitch changes, there's growls, there's inflections which go way beyond just the written note on the page. So get inside the solo and try and mimic it exactly, and that way you're gonna really start to come on. That's it for this week, folks. Hope you enjoyed learning how to play Waiting for a Star to Fall by Boy Meets Girl. If you're enjoying the Get Your Sax Together channel, please do subscribe, click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Go and check out my Instagram feeds, leave me a comment, and of course, go down into the PDF and get that transcription of this solo written out for alto and tenor. Click the link, you get your free PDF. And I'll see you next time on Get Your Sax Together. See you later. I have broken up this solo into five phrases. Six. <laughs>